Bro, I tried to bait exactly that too. That caught me on the ground? Oh, okay. I'm dead. Oh, no. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to talk about something right now, right? Didn't I promise you guys? What did I title the stream? I'm not here to teach you your character. Oh, I see. I see. I'm not here to teach you your character. If there's anything I've seen or if there's any common theme that I could point out from a lot of my YouTube comments on the more instructional type of content, it's that people do not know how to pick up on the general scheme of things because I am not trying to hand you guys a fish. I will never hand you guys a fish because I don't have enough fish to give you guys. All right, lots of people here watching the stream right now. There's lots of people on the YouTube channel and I don't have enough fish to go around. What I am trying to achieve whenever I do any sort of instructional stuff is I'm trying to teach you guys how to fish yourself. I'll take the chicken then, that's not on the menu either. I'm trying to give you guys the tools to be able to learn how to learn. That is the goal with anything I do. This really kind of struck a nerve with me because with the series of videos I was doing with homemade waffles, where I was going over how to find meaties, I was going over how to do frame traps and how to do other things in training mode with Balrog. I even mentioned in the video, like this stuff is universal. And I, I broke down how to use the tools in training mode. And then a huge amount of the comments were, this is great. Can you do this with Nash? Can you do this with Sagat? Can you do this with whatever character? At what point in the video did they not see that I didn't show anything that you can't do with any other character? I was trying to structure it in a way where it was very universal. And so here's where I'm coming to say, I am not here to teach you your character. I do not know any character, but what I do know how to show you is universal ways to approach using the tools in training mode and just some common sense to be able to figure out how to do anything with your character. Because when I do sweep with Balrog and then I hit somebody with a button, that is not a unique aspect to Balrog. You gotta take the next logical step, you know? I know copying and pasting strategies is really, really useful sometimes. And I, I do agree at lower levels, sometimes it's good to just copy paste the technique, use it, don't understand why it's good. And eventually you kind of figure out retroactively why it's smart or why it's good or why it's effective. But I'm not gonna give you stuff to copy paste. If you want the copy paste content, you go back to the, the music videos I used to do on YouTube back in 2017, all right? They're very highly edited. They're cool videos, check those out. What you need to do is you need to take your character in training mode and use the universal aspects of training mode in Street Fighter V to figure things out. When I showed you guys how to record a meaty, all I gotta do, set the dummy, mash their three frame, Turn that shit on, and then there you go. With Balrog, I did sweep, I did walk up button. If I'm Seth, I do sweep, I do walk up button. I practice the same timing. If I do this knockdown, I practice the timing. If I do this knockdown, I see what I can do, practice the timing. There is literally no difference in the mechanics of me trying to figure out the meaties with this character versus any character in the game. Street Fighter V has a lot of strong universal concepts like this. It's just about figuring out how to apply them. Because I know how to apply that, whenever I get to play a new character, I can just quickly just go to them and just say, okay, if I get this knockdown, this is a common combo, what am I gonna do from this knockdown? And this is the same thought process I go through with any character I pick up in this game. So if you comment on my videos saying, oh, can you teach me how to do this with with Colleen, can you show me to do this with Bison? No, I can't, I can't, and I won't, I refuse. It may, be, it may be a bit more roundabout, but I'll give you the tools to build up upon. If you wanna figure out autopilot setups, they're all over YouTube, they're all over the internet. Meaties, frame traps, same idea, record guard recovery options, put on his three frame, have him guard all, turn the guard recovery option on, when he blocks the move, he's gonna press a button. I figured out a frame trap. That button's too slow. This button's too slow. This button's too slow. This button works. This button works. This button's a block string. The button doesn't come out. I'm just pressing buttons. I don't have to know any frame data. I don't have to know anything about Seth. It's just trial and error. You can do so much with trial and error in Street Fighter V with the training mode. I can go to any character in the game and, and repeat this process and start figuring out frame traps and meaties. So you don't need a tutorial for every character. You just need to learn how the game operates on a basic level and learn how to use the tools in training mode. And you can start to piece together 
basic meetings and frame traps really easily. That's basically it, just small rant. Sometimes it's hard to, to make the horse drink the water. Every once in a while, I feel like I construct a video and I'm like, this is it. This is the one where everyone's gonna watch this video and have that hallelujah moment. They're gonna, their brain is just gonna expand straight out of their skull. They're just gonna just, they're just gonna be so great at Street Fighter after they watch my video. And then the comments start pouring in and I realize I failed miserably. I guess, I guess it just takes reiteration. I guess I just gotta reiterate it. I believe you can do it. You can do it on your own. There's a time and a place for copy paste and there's a time and a place for just experimenting, playing around, pressing buttons on your own, figuring out how the game feels and how it operates just through practical application. Sometimes that's the best way to learn. Okay, fine, no fish. I'm glad you guys are accepting it, no fish. No chicken either. If you want dinner tonight, if you want to eat, you got to get out and get it yourself.